Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your mid-July uh, general reading. <clears throat> it will resonate with some, not all. Um, all my information is below. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscriptions, okay? Let's get into it. Love is here. Career and finance, additional cards of support. And we've got the stones thrown, okay? So... It looks like for some of you, you're working on something. Some of you are doing work in school. Love is here, though. It's um, it, what what sits between you two is all of the work that you're doing. You know, you're working on whatever the other person is working. It's you know, it's um, it's a relationship where you guys are are busy. Um. Not that you don't see each other, but, you know, you guys are busy. One of you travels for work. One of you travels. Um, sometimes you feel like you're all over the place. You know, you get a lot of attention to Leo. Um, from a Leo for both my Leo man and my Leo woman. There's a lot of attention here. You're really isolated within this relationship. It's like I hang out with my partner, I go to work or school or both. The the friends um keeping up with them by way of maybe social media, maybe a text here or there, but you really aren't hanging out with friends as much. You'll find peace and groundedness, some truth uh, and some clarity about maybe a situation you're confused about with friends, with talking to a loved one or friend. A lot of you are working on stability, working really hard on stability. Um, starting with money, of course. And then, of course, you, you know... Um, Stability can be marriage and taking relationships, businesses to the next level. We're definitely working on uh, stability here. Yeah, that's what I see here. Okay, so love, the nine of swords, the ten of wands, the queen of wands, six of swords. Wow, there's a lot of burden. There's a lot of frustration for some of you. At the bottom of the deck for love, we have the devil. Some of you deal with maybe a Capricorn. If not, it could be third party. There could be addictions. There could be a strong pull, a tie, a karmic situation here. Uh, a lesson needs to be learned. You, you want to end it, but you feel like you can't mentally there's a hang up some of you are in, are in distance from the loved one but you'll find peace and clarity if you move away from or probably like in the stones go and talk to friends go and talk to family members uh, you could be dealing with another fire sign Aries, Sagittarius, Leo or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius whomever or whatever they bring you a lot of anxiety in this love relationship there are no cups here just a lot of mental and physical frustration you know that this person is doing something that they're involved in something that they should not be involved in in regards to relationship you're gonna find peace and clarity once you walk away okay bottom of the deck for career and finance the Queen of Cups. Nice. Some of you do a job or you have a position or a career that you absolutely, first of all, you love. It's creative. It allows you to hone in and tune into your creative side. Uh, Nine of Cups. Nice. Eight of Swords. The Empress. Beautiful energy. Like I said over here, working on stability, creating the environment that you want for yourself. Um, there will be some wishes fulfilled here because you're working really, really hard over here. You feel sometimes you feel like trapped, stuck in a cycle, but know that you are working toward um, abundance. 
the empress is about abundance she is the only quote unquote queen in the deck she's not a queen she's the empress um, but she's the only woman that sits on a throne that she has made for herself. Most of the times, it's in the midst of nothing. It's in, in the other decks, in the right away tarot, she's sitting in a on her throne in the midst of um, wilderness, in the midst of the wilderness. Imagine that, in the midst of nothing or undevelopment or a uh, a situation that is underdeveloped or not developed you have created abundance and it looks like you're doing that for yourself and career and finance let's get some messages some of you can do with cancer pisces scorpio too and career and finance or you can have that in your chart let's see bottom of the deck family changes some of you could be pregnant uh yeah with child or, or yeah with child or trying to become pregnant or just a mother and you're really um, doing the whole mothering and parenting thing. Family changes could be anything. It could be moving. It could be, uh, of course, having a child, bringing the child home, adopting a pet, adopting a child, um, re renovating the home, kids coming or going to school. I mean, gosh, family changes. That's a card that just end of an era here it's the end of something for you are you going to lay down the burden here with the ten of wands gracefully aging leaving yeah you'll find some peace some serenity some clarity some groundedness once you walk away for some of my leos some of my leos are in a relationship that um you know you work just working really hard um some of you, like I said, you need to find peace and serenity. You'll find that um, once you walk away. Also, in in friendship, talk to friends, talk to family members. Um, gracefully aging. I'm here an actor age. I don't know. You know, I'm not here to judge. I don't know. End of an era. Some of you are actually leaving. We got another one here. Dietary change. Yeah, nine of swords. Your health is highlighted. Your blood pressure, um, any blood-related issues, dietary change. If you know you eat like crazy stuff, stop it or at least modify it. Um, you can't go on like that. I'm not preaching at you. I'm preaching with you. So get in control as much as possible. Um, check on your health. Um, that may be burdening you also but once you get that checkup you might find some peace and clarity here um, yeah it's like you have to talk to somebody you have, you have to walk away from a situation and talk to someone okay I hope that this message um, resonated for all if not all um, the, the few that it needed to resonate for thank you for tuning in all of my information is below if you want to contact me for a reading I do have a $5 one question via email readings available. That's one question. If you send me a paragraph, I will, or my assistant will respond to you with what is your one question. If you can't narrow it down, your money will be refunded to you. And um, we, we pray that you find clarity. Um, thank you guys. Uh, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Um, I'll see you in August. You, you guys, his birthday is coming up. So it's a beautiful thing. All right. Take care, guys.